and a lovely Wednesday to you all as we return for more Tsushima goodness. And now I have a really cool sword holster. Do you have a cool sword holster like this, Abra? No. That's right. And my god, like this this place is always so stormy. I wonder why. <laughs> and like that. We're back at it again. Let's go, Solo. I love it. I, I can't wait to get a new song and keep on spamming that. I'm pretty sure you already have one, you just refuse to use it. No. See, I don't have shadows in the fog. <laughs> the sun's warm embrace. Yeah, we already played that one, like, once. Oh my god. I don't need more. <laughs> Man, who needs sunshine? I'm fine with a little bit of thunder. And lightning! Look at that. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, see? This is why, why I believe I have a great future as a content creator. Because you're shit at video games? I'm amazing at video games. Mm. I beat the lightning dude while not even doing half the zone. All right. Are you cowards? The lightning dude? Yeah, in uh, in Wukong. <laughs> you mean the sandstone dude? Yeah. The <laughs> sand, lightning, it's all the same thing. Kind of same, yeah. I somehow missed half half the freaking area, and apparently I had like five more bosses I can do to help even out the odds, and I still took it down. And the fact that like some other streamers took like way too long on it, I was like, hey, it's that's nice. Yeah, it, I didn't realize yeah. that it took uh, other people that long to beat it, and the fact that you were so under leveled and under prepared for it is. Fine, I'll give it to you. It's one of those things I definitely like. I, I want to be like, yeah, I'm so good, but it's like sometimes to me it's like. The monks are in danger. Okay. Uh, it's like some bosses just click with me, you know, and some bosses click with other people, right? Uh, like, I'm sure lots of people beat the tiger boss quite easily. They were like, why the fuck are you struggling so hard on this one? Or the snake man in the water. Like, I died, like, probably, like, six, eight times to that dude. And they're like, he's really easy. And I'm like, it, like, his moves just don't sync well with me, right? I feel it's a lot of that that comes to it. Because I've seen that in, like, Elden Ring and Dark Souls and those games as well. People are like, I beat this boss on my second try. And it's like, yeah, sometimes your brain is just, like, they work with that move set. And then you'll find mm -hmm. a boss that everyone thinks is easy, and I'll get hard stuck in it. Like, I don't know, like, my brain just can't... Can't comprehend. So I think it's just one of those. For some reason, like, his moves were just, like... You know, instantly I feel like I was dodging them really nice. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. the tiger one took me, like, an hour. <laughs> that to... oh, yikes. Yeah, it took me a while. I, I just couldn't get behind his sword slashes, like, getting the timing of them down. I and I fell for his... Fake outs, you know? Ah, uh, yes. What? His, his animation delays. The one is like, he does two slices, and then he does a slice, holds it, spins, and then does the slice spin. Like, that one caught me so goddamn many times, and I just couldn't get my head around it. It's not a hard mo uh, ability to dodge, either. It's not. And, and another thing that I notice is, it, it, there's a little bit of RNG with some of the bosses as well, because I would die to... Uh, say, for instance, the tiger boss. Um, and then when I fight him again, he uses a completely new fucking move, and I die, and he doesn't ever use it again. Like, <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? There was one move, because uh, I thought he had... He has the big slash he does, right? Uh, he goes like, hi -oh, and like, you can dodge it pretty easily. Uh, he has the two slices and then the spin. And then he has... He goes invisible and then does an attack from... You know, where he is in the water, right? Mm -hmm. But only one time did I see his five sword hit combo that he can do. Where he does five slices in a row. Which murdered me. And I was just like, what? Like, I didn't even know he could do that. And then the next yeah. three tries, never did it. And I managed to beat him. 
and I don't remember if it was the tiger boss, but I want to say that every boss has a grab attack. I've only seen like two. I have been I have been grabbed by almost every boss at least once. Huh. And some of them are punishing as hell. Uh that's one. Yeah, the the um uh, the freaking uh sand dude, sandstorm man. His his grab is ridiculously huge hitbox. Because uh, yes. he, he does a kick which launches you up into the air, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And that kick, like, he'll be far away and you'll do two dodge rolls back. And he will still, like, teleport forward, then do the animation and hit you. Once I dodge to the side perfectly, and he kicked straight forward, and he just hit me even though I was, like, five meters away from his foot. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> it's because I'm talking. Yeah. Whoa! 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 That's badass! <laughs> yeah, they... They, they get more abilities and more armor and more shit the higher you progress. Man, he really does not attack when I charge up. <laughs> he knows your ways. Yeah, he's, he's, he's predicting it. And if he's not gonna engage, well, I'm gonna back off. <laughs> gonna murder his friends. But yes, back onto the bosses that grab. Uh, it's it's one of the bosses you haven't fought yet, but it it literally took ninety percent of my HP in one grab attack. Yeah, it was insane. I can imagine they're very uh, they hurt a lot. Although I am running like some defense shit, and especially I run the if I drink my heal. It take, gives me damage reduction, so you know you take a few hits, and so you basically. And uh, I got the healing that does twenty five percent first, and then twenty five percent slowly heal over time. Mm -hmm. So it's healing constantly, so I have that damage protection on me. So it's like really helped me survive longer in fights to get to see the moves a bit more. Yeah. But yeah, that sounds brutal. I look forward to it. Some, the spectacles just get more and more awesome. Which, if you're dealing with those type of godly beings, it should be a spectacle. Mm. I agree. Totally agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the thing I really despise uh, God of War 4 for. Because uh, mm. they have... Almost all fights are just like on the ground, kind of, you know, muted fights. Yeah, just, just mano a mano. It's, it's, a, it's a brawl. Yeah, and the thing... Oh, no. I've tried to avoid these. Changes in my uncle. <sighs> uncle seems so much older. That's how time I works, Jen. Or aged him. <laughs> or I never noticed before. Um, But, like, the thing that I loved God of War for was the spectacle of it. It's like, the first boss you fight in the first God of War game... It's literally a hydra on top of a ship. And you kill it by pulling it, pulling it in and impaling it on the mast of the ship. I remember that. And in God of War 3, you started by fighting on top of a titan climbing Mount Olympus. And you get knocked down into the underworld and you crawl along... Uh, was it... I forget his name. The titan... Kronos? Kronos, yeah, you get to climb on him over his arm and shit, and I'm like, look at all this epicness. And the when they fight... Who would do this? What fucking monsters? Slain and left to rot. 
utter contempt for these sacred messengers. So before I go on our murderous rampage on the fucker who killed the fox, it was not me, shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I'm like, no, 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 I'll just let it drop. But uh, at the end of God of War 4, as it should be called, you see the ice giant come alive, and you're like, oh my god, yeah, we get to fight something huge. And then you just fight the same dude you fought at the start on a platform in the air, and I'm like, Come on, let me fight like some huge fucking being. That was so cool about God of War is that Kratos will fuck up a god a hundred times the size of him. And I'm like, yes, oh. let me do that. It's like, no, no. Completely destroyed. One it's game time, that I really, really want to play, and I could if I uh, no doubt this emulate uh, using a totally legit, physically owned copy of it, uh, is... Uh, Asher does Wrath. Dude, I... I, I Talk oh, about spectacle. Fuck me, I love Azura's Wrath. <laughs> yes. It is such a weird game, but I love it. I I have played it, and I... It's just... You know who did this. All right, let's follow the fox. But yeah, I, I played it. Love it. It's kind of wank. But for the spectacle alone, it's worth to do. Mm. <laughs> Oh, if that one shot up, that would have been clean AF. Right. So basically, it's just skill issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. And it has a great story, and Liam O'Brien's voice acting in it is fucking amazing. Uh, the fact that you fight a dude on the moon, impale him on your spear, thrust him through the moon, down into Earth, is just like, yes. It's so cool. Um, why are there two? <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so I like that. It was a cool with the episodic format. The art style is great. Soundtrack is just awesome. Now, do you know how Capcom fucked this one up? Well... And this is the thing that sank that game more than anything, I think. Which shows you, like, how this DLC scummy behavior existed way before what everyone is whining about now, right? Because people are, like, now being like, oh, day one DLC, oh, these things. I'm like, dude, they've been trying this for more than 15 years, all right, my friends? It's just been revoked, by the way. Um, so... What they did was they released 20 episodes, right, on the disc, which has an ending where you fight the dude that they portrays you at the start, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a it's very clear revenge story. Um, and what they did was the two final episodes that shows the twist ending... And has the true final boss fight was locked behind DLC. You had to buy them separately. Oof. Yeah. Once again, Capcom making a cool, interesting game and then go, how do we fuck this up? Let's take all this good faith and shit all over it. And it's such an interesting system because for those that don't know, Azura's Wrath is like, oh, you... Uh, you fight things mano mano, but instead of having health bars, you have this meter that starts out like on. You fill up this meter as you successively fight, and once you put it to maximum, you push the enemy to the next stage of the fight. And if you take damage, it reduces and such. So it's like you can take as many hits as you want, like, but you'll just slowly, sl much slower, get to it, you know. And it's just so such a cool idea. I highly recommend it. I played it from PlayStation Now, like a few years ago. Uh, oh, it, it was a bit wank because of the uh, PlayStation Now not being like great streaming, but apparently it's improved. So if they still have it, I recommend if you have PlayStation Now to go play it. It's such a blast. It's literally like playing an anime like series, basically. You know how anim animes wasn't like long term, and you would get like let's say you would get like. Uh, Gundam Wing, or you would get Cowboy Bebop or Trigon, and they would be like, they're 24 episodes, because that's how the runs were. It's it's mm. literally like playing a video game version of an anime, and it's great. 
So when you played it on PlayStation Now, was that on a PlayStation console or a PlayStation Now for PC? Uh, it was PlayStation 4 I played it on. Okay. Got Iron Man over here with an Achilles heel. I tried to put an arrow in the knee. Whoa. Well, that wouldn't have worked because he's not an adventure, he's a Mongol. I forgot I had. See, I'm trying to. I'm holding right trigger now. Now it let me change. It only happened a few times, but I get like locked in that. I think it's because I'm close to an animal, you know, so it's trying to loot the predator hides and stuff. Mm, yeah. Context sensitive um, input. Yeah. I remember that was such a. But that wasn't really a thing back in the day when Conqueror's Bad Fur they had that. And the scarecrow that helps you call Birdie, he was just like. Whenever you step on one of these platforms, a thing will appear above your head and you'll be able to do something. He's like, well, how does that work? Or like, you know, what do you call it? And he's like, mm, I call this ability context sensitive. <laughs> Not like, ah, oh, that's clever. Yay, uh, save the fox coons. We did it. Look how happy they are. They're the little hoppity hop action. It's cute. Oh, we can pet one. Yay. But yeah, I recommend it. I recommend that uh, game. It's definitely... They did try a lot. It did come during the time of... Uh, wow, they're really using that Unreal Tournament, but also, like, there's a lot of uh, QTEs in it. But uh, it's... Yeah. It's built around QTEs, so it's not disrupting the gameplay with QTEs, like, it is part of it, so it doesn't feel as egregious as when, you know, you're shooting things in Resident Evil and all of a sudden a cutscene happens and you have to push button. It's like, well, this is kind of weird. It's like, no, that's what you rocks. do. Huh? <laughs> you have to punch rocks. Right. I mean, it's still the most epic moment in gaming ever, but... Well, of course. But it's definitely, like, it's a bit jarring going from, like, third person over the shoulder shooting stuff in the head and, like, oh, now that control scheme is completely thrown out for you to mash a button. But, you know, it was, it was, at such was the style at the time. True that, true that. All right, I just checked. Cool, uh, Asher's Wrath is fully compatible with uh, PlayStation 3 emulator. Yep, because, and should be on X box as well or those that but yeah i tried getting a physical copy but it's near impossible yeah how much would that cost a lot the ebay i would love to have a copy but the problem is someone in pain you probably won't be able to get the DLC because that's been shut down from the store, so you wouldn't be able to play the two final chapters. Oh. So you'd have to emulate it. Forgive me. Mm. I thought you were one of them. Or PlayStation Now. The lowest price that I'm seeing is twenty three dollars for PS3. The okay. highest is one hundred. <laughs> that statue was one of Master Izo's. It wasn't enough for the Mongols to kill my father. They had to desecrate his legacy. Your master Izo's son. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. We won't see his like again. Oh he's man, somebody's listening say place. with manual. I remember I those days. If I had his tools. <laughs> but his killers have taken our home too. I'll get the tools. And we'll honor your father's memory by restoring his work. Thank you, my lord. Our home is just up the mountain road. And if you can avenge him. I will. Have you ever seen anything from Azura's Wrath? Uh, I've seen him fight God's Finger. Yeah. I think that's the big scene everyone remembers, that is just fucking yeah. amazing. But it also has, like, one of the... 
one of the sickest fighting themes ever. Fighting themes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. So what if I do this? Hold on, this will fit pretty well with this, I think. And it won't, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna play... Oh god, it's so laggy when I'm in the game and trying to do stuff outside. <laughs> I was I was expecting that to happen. Yeah, it's, t it's taken more than 10 seconds to load YouTube. All right, just load, chill. Twelve years ago, it's Christ. Fucking hell. It's a uh, very western. It gets better. Just, I love this song. I used to listen to this a lot while, um, well, just grind when I was grinding in any game. See if I can find any enemies to fight. It is, it's, I don't know how, what to think of this. Oh yeah. It, it it does somewhat fit. It somewhat fits, right? God, I just love this theme, it's so good. And it's also of course uh one of those songs that within context is like a hundred times more badass. And it's also it's a nice short playthrough. It'll take you, like, five hours at most. Hmm, okay. It's not intended to be a long, 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 um... ...thing. Did you know that Liam O'Brien, when he recorded that... Uh, ...he gave it really his all to really, like... ...make sure that the wrath in Asura's wrath was well-earned? To the point... Where he literally started coughing up blood from screaming so hard. Jesus. That's fucking metal as fuck, dude. <laughs> Master Izo's home. Face me! But you can hear it. And I, 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 very rarely do I say this, but I think the English dub did it better than the Japanese one in that regard. Which I don't say easily to, to, that stuff. I 
can't fuck around with big dudes. They will clomp your ass straight into the ground. True that, true that. Using the God, tools. I should do an Azura's Wrath playthrough, really. Master Izo. Who are you? He's yeah, it'd be alive. pretty good for just a singular stream. Yeah. Master Izo, I'm glad you're alive. Your son thinks the Mongols killed you. <sighs> Could I ask you ever to go to the spreadsheet and add it? Before I forget. It's because a Mongol general admires my work. The Mongols are mutilating your sculptures. Destroying your legacy. He wants me to create a masterpiece. I suppose I could do that. Himself. Thank you. I can't refuse. There was another game I was like, I'm gonna play that, and I've already forgotten what it was. Which of my statues is damaged? The most down like the road. To... I created that to honor my son's birth. It's not my finest work. He disagrees. Mamoru is a good son. But his eye for art has always been lacking. Whatever you may believe. That statue is one of the greatest in Kushi. Kushi? Do you know how vast the Mongol Empire is? You sound like you're chasing fame and glory. Aren't you? Everyone respects and fears the ghost, don't they? I'm fighting to save my people. You're lucky. You've never had to choose between duty to others and to yourself. This dude's been talking mad shit. My dude, I don't think this Jin way. has ever had a choice to choose himself. Ever. So, how about you watch your fucking mouth, man? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I mean, that went pretty well, in my opinion. Oh boy. Yeah. Sweet Mamoru. He died defending your legacy. I destroyed all to have him back. All you can do is honor his memory. Be the man he thought you were. I'm sorry, my son. Wait, is that the head that's in a British museum now? Yes. They stole it fair and square. Hey, finders keepers. True. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like I really got anything good out of that. That sort of seems like a giant loss. Um. What do we go for here? That is the question, really. That is pretty good. Let's go with double damage on Kunai's. You can't fuck me, I'm already dead. Or Kunai more better. Yes. Actually, let's go do her Mazako tail. Let's do that. Let's get a tail out of the way. Alright, so I'm adding Ashura's Wrath to the list. Um, play it, yes. Owned? You don't own no, it. No, I don't own it. I would need to totally legitimately get it. 
And by that, I mean totally legitimately get it. <laughs> the camera's not on. But I'm winking really, really hard right now. <laughs> The most important part, I wanted to run well, because I had trouble beating it, because on PlayStation Now, like, there was streaming, you know, slowed down, so there was a tiny delay, and you know how painful that is. Mm -hmm. All right, it's all added, all the info and everything. Nice. I didn't add a hyperlink to the title because I mean, all the other hyperlinks for Steam pages, and that's not yeah. a thing. Yeah, no, 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 that's all. Not apologies. Perhaps the farmers know. Perhaps. Lord Sakai, I am worried about her. Junshin. You are full of dishonor. Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry. I couldn't help. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can... Because I just recently realized that, that they are, are here. Be well. like how you tried to mimic it now what but when i asked you to mimic it previously you were like no that's wrong and now you're like well i just realized they are here <laughs> because he doesn't sound like the typical asian dude oh the other one does yeah are you profiling right now hell yes someone take that out of context all these slanty eyed motherfuckers oh my no dude dude no <laughs> no <laughs> Don't force, don't force me to don't force me to go in and like mute that that part out dude <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> oh my god it's okay i'm korean i'm allowed for people that know abra is it's korean no right <laughs> yes so for those that don't know abra is korean <laughs> i'll help you find them i need to handle it we all look the same <laughs> the farmers that they left with armed men <laughs> Are you gonna start quoting like the Bad Friends podcast now? They could complicate <laughs> things. I can use your help. We we don't all sound the same though. Is that <laughs> you can count on it. The farmer said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. Oh my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! You're giving me a heart attack here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing now. Arms cancel al alarm was just dude. If you get me canceled for that, none. fuck you. Thief? <laughs> no, I'm too small for anyone to care. Luckily, stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that my was our former son. I, I was so he close saying no arms, you're big, but that could be taken out of context too. To oh, that, oh, he a compliment. Of course, I can't have that. But she had to go. <laughs> it almost sounds like no arms, you're fucking huge, just massive. Friend. Dude, it's always <laughs> minus degrees in the sauna, right? That's why it's small. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. It's just cold in here, guys. <laughs> Oh, straw hats. Nice. Let's butcher them. Oh. <laughs> or hide. That works too. Yeah, because we. I could throw a bomb right I'm now and they'll all be everything. dead. I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. <laughs> you have no money. I have this comb. It's gold. 
with pearl in me. They're just gonna rob you. It might fetch a fair price. No. We have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the elders. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt her. Don't you dare! That actually reached. Archer! It's the ghost! Ruined. Ruined. Oh, she running. <laughs> okay. Look. Look. Should use that heavy bow. I I did. <laughs> Oh, it, was, <laughs> it was not enough. He could take two. He could take more than some armor dudes. He just built different, yo. Sakai, step back. We've been um. <laughs> Should work. Patience, my young Padawan. Patience. It's like, this is me in every Elden Ring boss ever. Sakai, step back. <laughs> that was amazing. God. This this is just a guide on how not to do this. Oh god, am I becoming dark side Phil? Ugh. All right, I'll stop thinking. It's just fun. It's just fun to try. Cause like, what if I find like a way of like, oh my god, I didn't know you could do that, you know? Mhm. Mm That's right, they slowly break off. A fair distance. I'll tell your story to pass the time. Once there was a girl who worked in a tea house. And she realized there were Mongols arriving. Give us away. <laughs> One day, a monk from far away came to the tea house. And the two fell instantly in love. Man, seeing all this grass and flowers just flapping in the wind it surprises me that this was on ps4 yeah when you do good optimizations man double assassinate go for it is this still dishonorable if you assassinate somebody with your katana I mean, they have like 50,000 rules on how to use your katana to make it as boring as possible, so I assume so, yes. True. If you ever think of anything fun to do as a samurai, they're probably like, no, not honorable. I mean, don't they get like real pissy if you like, oh, I'm gonna starve to death, so I have to start a fire, but I only have my katana, so I'll use it to chop down a branch. They'll be like, dishonorable for my katana! I mean, I don't know about dishonorable, but it's gonna fuck your blade up. Ooh. Oh, now it's okay. Yes. Man, you some tanky dudes. Hey, you have that app. That app? At. I do. You are an overrated fool. He just 
Are you overrated? Says the guy who, in clear striking distance of me, goes for a sword pull. <laughs> or a unsheathing, or what they call it. A draw. I don't know what yeah. they call it. I need to speak with my. I'm here if you need me. It's called EI. <sighs> Thank you. E oh, EI Yutsu is like the one of those things they call like a te draw technique, right? Yes. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Uh oh. Turn me away. You're gonna reverse. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's things. See, Masako gets like great story. Yeah. Masako is so good. This still makes me hate that Tomo even mean. more because like, look what how good he can Tomo be. Is Tomo is the best. Only through notes. Say Tomo through again, notes. motherfucker. <laughs> Tomorrow? He said he knew what it was like <laughs> that he understood my pain. Masako. My was my only... Has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin, will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. Oh no, you're gonna kill her? Masako, can you please stop killing, sending me away and then kill people when I'm gone? Thank you. She didn't she die. Woo! He's gone home. Don't take out your bow and sniper. I want you to know, I'm not. It's not Tomo. Don't owe me an explanation. <laughs> Fuck you. I cared for my <laughs> husband, but I cared for my too. You still do. I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and my, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. We'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. My work in Toyotama isn't finished. Meet me when you can. Ah, Toyotama, the home of the Toyota. See, this is a prime example of a very well-written story. Yeah, like, all, all of Masako's story beats has been so good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. And now... Oh. So, what do you need to get Shadow in the Fog? See, oh, you, oh. Need, you need more crickets. You need more graveyards, my guy. Well, fuck. <sighs> um...
Oh, it's so weird that Masako 6 is there. Her 5 is here, and her 7 started here. Alright, let's ride... I sort of want to do this one. I really... I sort of, yeah. Let's just go for straight through. See what we find on the way. So the one that you just did was 7? Yeah. And you're going to 5 now? Yeah. I'm what... I'm thinking that the stories were done and broken apart in a way that it doesn't matter what order you do it, you still get a complete story, just yes. bits and pieces at a time. Yeah. It's it's only at the start at the start to recruit your allies in the first zone. Now they're like yeah, spread that, out. That initial breadcrumb, yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of interesting that they like you then you don't need to number them, you know? Mm -hmm. If they can be done in either order, it doesn't matter, right? It's like the first one can be well, like, "Oh, you did her four. Now she just has some missions for you, right? Well, I, I I take the the numbering not as specifically in order, but knowing how many I have left. I guess that you see that's a little Try bit of like a little bit like it will not be on your map, like if you don't have any more, right? Because they will appear when needed as well. I mean, it's fine. It's just like interesting choice, right? More than yeah. anything, it's just like huh, I haven't seen anyone do it that way. Hashayomsho, and here I come to Jom your show. Roaming rocks at you. Oh no, they're throwing. Are you gonna assassinate? What? That shouldn't be a thing. Skill. <laughs> I mean, they obviously knew where you were. Skill. Is it though? Pure skill. Mm. Pure skill and only skill. There was only four people in this camp? Yeah, it's just a little camp. Surprised. Anything cool for us? Yeah, giant succulent pig on that spit. I never had... I never had that, actually. <laughs> what, whole roast pig? I haven't either. Uh... Not not in that particular fashion, but I do remember going to Oktoberfest in Germany and I had a massive pork leg. Yeah. It was it was delicious. I can imagine. I would love to try. There was one uh, when I lived in good old syrup land. Are you cowards? There was a person who was gonna have for their birthday, but we were leaving to move back to Sweden like a few days before that, so I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And every day I was just like, oh my god. Because I was like, it's gonna be just like in the movies, like a giant leg of meat that I can see. Ponga meat, uh, yes. That, or like, have you ever was, watched Asterix and Obelix? Is that what you called? Watched it? No, I've, I've read the comics. Right, so you know how they always have like a boar? Mm -hmm. That they eat like Before that big soon. type of leg is what I see. What I imagine yeah. as a kid, at least. Lord Sakai, you have my thanks. Go. But yes, I, I totally Get remember this. Asterix and Obelix uh, from Germany. From Germany? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I've told you this before, but I'm an Air Force brat. Uh, my father was in the Air Force, and I used to live in Germany for almost 10 years. Oh, yeah, but so you watched it in Germany, is what you mean? No, uh, comics. Oh, so you read them in German. No, I just looked at the pictures. <laughs> All right. I didn't know how to read German. I what thought I thought you claimed they were from Germany. Is what I thought. No, no, I read the comics in in Germany. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> no, I, I I didn't read the comics. I looked at the comics in Germany. It was it's it's quite to me. It's still like. I never read them in English or heard them in English. I only read it in Swedish and had it dubbed in Swedish. Uh, 
so some of the names are completely changed to fit, you know, a different vocabulary. Mm. So it's uh, to me, uh, what is it? Quick affix, whatever his name is, the druid. I am not familiar with that one. Uh, the one who makes the potion they all drink. Uh, the old man with the long white beard. He makes the, uh, the drink that all of them get super strong so they can fight the Romans. I if I I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. Oh yes, 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 yes. His name is Quickafix or something like that. Uh, according to Google, it is Getafix. Getafix, yeah, which makes no sense to me because in Swedish we call him Miraculix, as in miracle, and X, because he makes the miracle. Brew they drink, right? Right. So, to, so when they were like, get the fix, I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> you know? Uh, well, actually, wow, geez, he has a, a, a ton of different names. Um, the original French name is <laughs> Panoramics. Hmm. I knew, I knew it's French originally, but I did not know it was Panoramics. Yeah, Panoramics, the original French name for the Druid character in the Asterix stories, named get the fix in English translations. My question is, what is panorama then in French to be like something medicine, maybe? That's what I'm wondering. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I love Asterix and Obelix. Such fun little adventures. Uh, French for panoramics is... Panoramics. <laughs> well, I think there's something like, you know, Panorazio or something like that, you know, that what it actually is, but you just put X instead at the end, I... I assume. Yeah. It's fine. We can we can probably ask Magato at some point. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, for some strange reason names that are completely switched or changed for different countries, and I don't understand why. Like the the whole Street Fighter thing, M Bison was not originally supposed to be M Bison. Uh, same with Vega and Balrog, I think it was. Yeah, that is the classic. At least back in the day, it was a lot just like, well, we want to translate it so it's more relatable and not as foreign. Because, you know, in the 80s or 90s, whatever, it's like, oh, it has a different name. That means people are going to be scared of it, you know. So let's rename it to fit more with what we have so people will easier adopt it, you know. Well, no, see, they, um, I think Vega was supposed to be M. Bison. Oh, well, that's uh, just uh, mistranslation there, or is that then? I, I don't know the exact reason why. Uh, I'm going to have to Google this. Yeah. To Google. Because, like, at least uh, going on on my tangent, uh, like in Sweden, we would, like, when uh, Iron Fist Ken, uh, or Kotuno Ken, you know, would drop. You couldn't get a Swede in the 80s to go Hokotunoken, like that that cultural thing <laughs> yeah. didn't exist, so they just called him uh, Ken Bearfist, but in Swedish. And it's just like, alright, because like, nobody, uh, otherwise nobody's gonna buy it if they see that, right? They're like, Hokotunoken is like, what the fuck is, what, what, what? you know, I'm, I'm sure some 20 year old in the 80s would have like some horrible... <laughs> Like take on that. Ooh, we have. Oh, this is a whole city, eh? Cool. Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Jin Sakai. Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of a Mugi Cove. Please come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. Hold on, I'm pouring my drink.
I can upgrade my sword, so... Nice, it will, nice. It will do, do more damage, which means I can kill people quicker. Yep, yeah, kills faster. Kills faster. I like that you use kill as well, like straight up, not just defeat. <laughs> it liberate. Liberate them of life, yeah. Oh, Sakai. oi. This is Lady Sanjo. Welcome to Umugi Ko. Oh shit, you look badass. I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured. So long as you abide by that same rule. Now please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler. Is the camera oh. fucked up? Uh, it's foggy in the area. No, I mean, like, the angles are all wrong. Should I see, like, a close-up of her as we're being introduced to this character? Uh, I think they went for some random cinematography nonsense. I think we can help each other. So I sort of want to see closer what she looks like, because she looks cool. Yeah, this is total weeb mode uh, triggering, but she is peak um, Ane-san uh, vibes. Oh, yeah. Like the um, gang, female gang leader, like it, the female version of Anagi, basically. Yeah, which I love. Yes, it's fucking cool. I'm such a simp for um, for the matriarchal uh, yakuza type female characters that wear like their kimono with like one arm out, with like their breasts like tied up with bandages. And hairpins <laughs> and exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm... yes, <laughs> it's so fucking badass. Let us. It's even better when they have uh, tattoos as well. Yeah. Sharper than ever. I mean, I'm not it, far it away from getting all of this. Well, you need three Apologies. more gold. You don't have eleven hey, more. Hey, sixty-nine steel. Nice. Nice. And five more iron. And we also have. Yeah, we have way more supplies than we'll ever need. We have a shitload of supplies. You'd be robbing your entire fucking island blind. Oh, so now it's robbing. That's what you've always been doing. What are you talking no, about? No, I've been liberating. <laughs> liberating means that you, they... No, <laughs> you're just stealing it for your own use. Liberate these nuts. Lord Samurai, please. I have a message for you. Go on, Yamato. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me. A oh, fuck if off in your fucking tale. demons. Waste my time. They're, they're just, just cock teasing. Not this one. His name is Kojiro, and he cannot die. <laughs> I just so happen to have a sword that kills things faster. Long I just upgraded ago, it. Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. I love these so brush, paint, so er, brush paintings. Uh, what, what am I talking about? Um, Mm -hmm. Ink paintings. They do the same in Destiny as well when they. From dawn That's dawn. true, actually. Now that you mention it. Yeah, I love them. He slew them all. It's a, it's a nice way to get around not being able to have the budget to make more in-depth cutscenes, you know. But never I, hot take. I prefer this kind of style. Of so I mean, that's fine. You can prefer it, but. You know, it is a cost-effective way to do a cutscene, right? Oh yeah, I mean, it's just icing on the cake. MG MGS always had that problem of... It had a lot of cutscenes, but whenever, like, the budget couldn't afford, they would just cut to real-life footage of things. Because they're just like, we can't animate more of this. We're just gonna put up pictures and stuff. That's what that I mean, like... It, and yeah. Go ahead. An oath to kill you. Oh, no, you no, I'm gonna go off on a different tangent. Uh, well, similar tangent, but uh, it just reminds me of the uh, chapter uh, intermissions for in Wukong. The first one was animated, and the second one was like claymation. That that was awesome. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna rant about that after this. It seems I already rant. Without realizing it. Well, not rant, but like uh, gush over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because to me, rant has a very negative connotation to, to the subject. Oh, to me, rant is just... You can rant on about something positive. I rant about Resident Evil all the time, how much I love it. I've never met a man like him before. I'm not even sure he is a man. Rant to me never was a... 
negative thing. It was just, you're just going on and on about something, right? I suppose. It's a synonym to rambling, right? I don't know about that. Wow. So, to oh. cap off this episode... We shall go and liberate that. Six blades, well, we can't... We'll find those duels, alright? But let's... <laughs> You're gonna find six duels? No, we're not. We're gonna well we're gonna find them by accident. Right? We'll go for a peaceful ride. Um I gotta ride this way, right? Because it's down the cove. Uh but feel free to check it what rant actually mean, because like I you know me, I'm not super good at English, so my perception of it could be the thing is, like, I've seen people just go on, you know, on a rant and ramble for an hour on something they love and just be like, okay, I ranted enough now. So, I, you know, I never found it to be in a negative context, but it might as well be, like, the definition of it. Uh, depending on what definition you want to use, rant, uh, speak or shout at length in a wild, impassioned way, or... Um... Shout and complain angrily at length. Uh, there's no other one that says talk loudly or angrily and exaggerate or say foolish things. So, yeah, I guess it depends on what definition you want to use. And so my second question, uh, cause, just because I'm looking to learn, is rambling a synonym to rant? Uh, let me... Rant. Um, ramble is not a typical synonym. Okay, no, it's not. Um, Check it out. Rant being used as a verb, uh, strongest match, gonna shout, uh, bloviate. That's, that's a word. Harangue. Vociferate. Wow, vociferate. <laughs> vociferate. What is this? A vociferate. A rant. Mm. Mm. Man, they... They got some, some HPs. Gargling. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Doggo. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just killed half the fucking Mongol army in that camp alone. They they weren't fucking about. At least we know they're hit. Oh. Hey, more iron. You need it. Yeah, we do need we do need a lot. 
Although I am shocked hey, that we're like not even halfway through the game and I'm already like capping out on a lot of stuff. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess at some point I'm gonna have everything upgraded, so I'm not gonna have to collect resources. Iron, we need that. And gold is from missions quest completions. Yeah. So I can't be dicking around a lot, but we also need to find more graveyards. True, if you want to do more than just summon the rain. Speaking of. God, no. This is not Africa. You don't need to bless the rains, okay? Have you heard the Finnish dude singing it? <laughs> no. Ah, uh, I know what we're going to start the next stream with. Oh, God. Stream, sorry, episode. <laughs> right, so this place is liberated, yes? Beautiful. Dula Mong spider lilies. I know where we're headed to next. My favorite flower. Spider lilies. They're gorgeous. I can't say I uh, just know it all off by name. It's the red flowers that you're standing in right now. They're just red like that. Cool. I mean, yeah. I, th I was I expect think... suspecting something else, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> Actual spiders. Maybe. <laughs> the fuck you, bells. Fuck, dude. All right. Uh, I will. We will see you all tomorrow. Um, this was the third episode, right? It's Wednesday for you guys. So I will see you all on Thursday, motherfucker. And uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow because you're going to see start uh, the thing with something amazing. So yeah. See ya, everybody. Bye. Bye.